Hey everybody, Roger Levin here with your orthodontic practice production pearl of the week. There are many ways to evaluate the staff. And if you're a staff member watching this, I am open, I am transparent, evaluate yourself. Because I don't believe in criticism, I don't believe in blame, and I mean it. I really try to eliminate those from my thought processes. We don't allow blame or criticism in our company because we want to be open, transparent, willing to be right, willing to be wrong, and willing to grow. So I want to talk to you about one way to look at team members. And we're referring now to the A player first. You've got a superstar on your team. Is that good or bad? And the answer is maybe. A great A player can be really good or a great A player could be what we call a toxic A player. But here's the problem. The toxic A player, which is my main subject today, looks to the orthodontist like that person is irreplaceable. They might have the right skill, the right number of years of experience, the, might, the right relationships with parents and patients. They might be smart, they might be attractive, they might be funny, they might have a great en enigmatic, enthusiastic personality. But the problem is that they're still toxic. And when you have a toxic A player, here's what happens. Number one, other staff members don't like working with them. And therefore, it goes against any thought of building a team or teamwork because there's regular resentment. Number two, the toxic A player will drive off other good people. They don't want to work with this person. They don't like this person. There's something toxic about this person, hence the name toxic. Number three, they are often on power trips. They protect their turf. They don't let anybody get too well-trained, grow too much, ingratiate themselves with the orthodontist because they don't want to be threatened. My job, my turf, I will keep you down to keep me up. So the toxic A player is a tough choice, but the orthodontist often thinks the toxic A player can't be replaced. You depend on them. You need them. This is what they do. They make you very dependent, and they do that part of the job well while they're hurting the rest of the practice. Should you fire the toxic A player? Probably. Uh, I would but you have to evaluate how bad off you'll be. The problem is you often think you'll be far worse off than you will be if you had a solid, stable team of really good people. There are many phenomenal ortho practices with no A players. They're just fantastic players. They're growing players. They're nice players, and they're fun to work with players. And then, of course, you've got your B players. They are great. The people you can't retain, and I don't mean this in a mean way, they just don't fit your practice, they should fit somewhere else, are your C players. C players are not toxic, they can be lovely people, they just can't master the job. And everybody's better off if they find a job somewhere that they can master, that your practice is better off, their life is better off. As always, I wish you increased practice production and referrals every year. And I'll see you next week.